Hey my friends. Today I show you how to make a car music banger. This genre became really huge the last years because everybody loves a fat bass. And sick German cars drifting at night in a city. So you think, man, this music sounds so cool I wanna make this because I want to impress girls. Then my friend you are at the right place. Because now I show you how to make this kind of music in just a few minutes. So, always every car music mix consists out of remixes. You obviously need a track to remix, what people mostly do is, they downloading acapellas from already famous songs. I thought about a song for a few minutes and then I thought about to get the acapella from the song Attention by Charlie Puth, because I thought it could work really well in the car music style. So I already finished this project and I show you everything I've done here. So first I dragged the acapella into FL Studio and I stretched it to the BPM of 122. You change the mode here to auto, right click on time. Auto detect, and now type in the BPM of the original song. And then FL Studio is making the job for you. Nice. Now to get the dark deep car music style vibe, we pitch the vocal down a few semitones, and now it sounds like this. You've been running around, running around, running around, throwing that dirt all on my name. So for the processing, I added the little altar boy just for compression, a bit of OTT, reverb, delay, and some EQ. It just makes our acapella more crisp. You've been running around, running around, running around, throwing that dirt all on my name. Super. The second step is of course the re-space. Almost every car music track has a thick re-space. I went into my car music sample pack and choose the re-space called Atmo because I love it. For the very low end I added a simple sub-bass to make the overall presence of the re-space even fatter. Then I thought that my track needs some more color in the background, so I choose two lead sounds that are playing a tensioning melody with a ton of reverb. I acute it a bit to fit better in the mix. Now guys we are scrolling down to here. This part is also very important I think and this technique is quite underrated. You always need to fill up the ambient background of your track to make it sound more glued together and full. Therefore I have a variety of texture sounds in my pack and I chose two of them for my track right here. And I added two drone samples to fill up the high frequencies a bit and give it even more atmospheric background. And for even more spice, I added some nice samples right here. A smooth swoosh sound, a down filter and an impact sound. So guys the intro is as simple as that. Now I show you the build up. Obviously the build up need a lot of tension to make people exit it for the fat bass drop when driving at night in their car. So, I added some samples like two shaker loops, another more subtle swoosh and down filter sound, a quiet snare with reverb to give the track a bit rhythm, then two nice built up samples, some claps with reverb, and a few risers. And for the drum fill right before the drop I made this very signature sound for car music. I took two top bass samples. And I created these rhythm first. But then I made the trick where everybody is thinking, man this is sounding dirty. I gave the top bass sound a pitch automation from high to low. It is very easy to make. Just open your sample, change the pitch range up to 12 semitones, then play with this knob. And now click here, last tweaked, and create automation clip. Now we have our automation clip right here and I adjusted the pitch range from very high to very low. And now it sounds gritty like this. Nice. But now guys the main dish with the secret sauce has arrived. The bass line. A fat dark bass line is just essential for impressing girls. In the track Goosebumps from HVME the bass line is very dark and low. But it also sounded like it's been played at a big hall. Many people like that sound than me too. So let's see how I made it. As you can count here, I used 7 different sounds to get that sound. First, I chose the boom preset for that dark gritty vibe. Then the distorted preset for a bit more rum and even more grittiness. Then the preset harmonic for a bit more harmonics. Then the HVME preset for that signature vibe. I also added more reverb to it for that big concert hall vibe. Then the Omega preset for the very low end power. 
than the slappy preset because it just sounds amazingly dirty. And the last sound was also very important. I used a bass shot to give this bass line much more attack. And it gives this bass line much more slap to it. <laughs> of course I always added some heavy side chain to all the sounds. And I EQ'd all the sounds separately. I just EQ'd them by my taste and my ear. I just tried and when I thought it sounded better now then I leave the knob. But the essential part is that you take out all the low frequencies of your basses, just leave the sub bass for that one sub sound you use to make it more clean. Then guys I added a fat kick, an impact sound, a brass stab and a bass stab. And now let's listen to our bass line. I think it sounds amazing. You too? Then, you have to check out my slap house sample pack called Engine, because it has a fat German engine in it, 110 serum presets with 50 different car bass basses. It also has brass stabs, leads, plucks, and amazing wheeze basses. For even more epicness, I added a whole Silinth 1 sound bank with 100 Silinth 1 presets with even more bass sound and more. Like that it's not enough, it has 400 high quality samples like one shots, loops and sick FX sounds like bass shots and so on. So, if you want to impress girls, cop this pack and you got everything to make remixes like this. I made this whole remix just with this pack. You also can buy what you want separately. You can also download these FLP for free and open it properly if you having the pack. Links are in the description. Okay guys, enough advertising. To make our track more interesting and to keep the attention of the listener, we need to add some claps, snares, and hi-hats. At first I took three claps which I really like and I layered them like this. I moved this clap a little bit forward to give it more groove and slap. Then for every second clap, I added three more slap claps which slapping very hard. Oh. Then I added three snares for more body and punch. And after this I added some hi-hats and rides for more rhythm. For the mastering I just threw an ozone preset onto it. And guys I think we are now done. Before we listen together to the track, we need a sick German car driving at night in a city. So we type in car video and let's watch the video while listening to our final result. The car video was made by Matuvik Productions. Guys thanks for watching, I love you.